Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to be working on a 2010 Club Car President. We'll be changing out to solenoid. So, we've got the car, we've got some tools, let's get started. Okay, before we get started, always remember safety first. Safety glasses, remove jewelry, if you can, rubber gloves, especially when you're messing around batteries. Before we get started, always remember, put it in the toe position. Next, what we want to do is take off the battery hold downs. Then we're going to remove these two batteries in the center. So we'll have to take certain cables either off or loose and get them out of the way. So let's get started. Okay, as we can see, we have our solenoid right here, right there in front of us. We want to disconnect it. Pull the spades off. Move this wire out of the way. Take our large cables loose. And this, we just slide right up. It comes off, and it does come off with our 200, probably about 220 to 250 ohm resistor going across here. Okay, now then, got this all cleaned up, shiny and pretty. We're going to put everything back together, starting by putting our resistor back on. We'll slide it down into place. And if you order a different style uh, solenoid, it will work. There's two mounting holes right there on each side so that you can mount a standard style solenoid. And when tightening this up, just get it snug. This plastic will break if you over tighten it. Now these that go on the outside, it does not matter which direction you put it. It is non-directional until you put them on. And now we can put all this back up here. Well, I hope today's episode on changing out a solenoid on the 2010 Club Car President was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage. <laughs>